Hey, DOT community, this is another episode of the DOT After Show with Zalon and Bo. How are we doing, Bo? Late night edition. We're doing good, Zalon. Yeah. How are you? Excellent, excellent. Well, you know what happened earlier today, of course. We were uh, we had to do oh, yeah. the pre-show, and if you didn't catch that, right. make, make sure you uh, you, you uh, look at the very most recent well, live stream. it started stream. before that, because I did a live stream really early in the morning, and then we did the pre-show. Yeah. Before the actual dev live stream. Yeah, and that was so, all due to a conference yeah. call that Bo and I had to take care of afterwards. So uh, you know, we didn't want to we didn't want to ruin anything, but also too, this week it just so happened that the event went live just a little bit before the about an hour actually a little bit an hour or two before the dev stream. So there was actually uh, plenty yeah. of time. But anyway, so what we have right oh, up yeah. here, what we have right up here is the Titan Brawl. Currently, now I know I haven't talked about it too much or done any separate videos for it, but of course, life is life. But the Titan Brawl has gotten pretty far along at this point. We've already gone through the first yes, el- first eliminations and everything. Certain uh, Loki getting this far. I mean, I know certain people thought that Loki was not going to beat Siegfried, but that did happen. Um, so yes. at this point, this week Loki took on Talon, as you see up here in the top right. And this side is, of course... And I think we're ready to call a winner, right? Yeah, we are ready to call a winner, yeah. <laughs> okay, all right. <laughs> we're so, not going to need a recount, no, are we? Yeah, no recount, no uh, no chads, you know, nothing like that. That's right. <laughs> um, okay. For all... For, but anyway, um, so we got uh, Loki and Talon, of course, week five. Uh, and uh, Loki did win, so Talon is out. So it does. Uh, we do still have this weekend's uh, uh, Odin ver- and Wukong um, on Facebook. Right. So make sure you do go over to Facebook and vote. Uh, my personal preference between Odin and Wukong, I do have both of them, and my Wukong is really good. My Odin is not really good. I didn't get the right. best skills on my Odin, so I'm definitely gonna vote Odin personally myself. Um, but I do believe there's a decent amount of people that wouldn't mind getting a really good Wukong either. Um, what about, what about you, Bo? Would you go Wukong or Odin? Uh, I would probably go Wukong. Yeah? Okay. Yeah. Mainly because I don't care about either one of those and I want Champ Yarddog to win. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> true, true, true. I'm just... just stacking the deck. Yeah, stacking the deck. All right. Well, yeah, you know that definitely if Wukong beats out Odin, that it'll be a little bit different of a, of a week seven situation. So... Of course, let us know what you think about who you may who is going to be finding themselves in the finals. Uh, my personal preference would be uh, Champ uh, uh, Yard Dog over on the right and uh, Odin over on the left because uh, that's what I believe is going to be the case. But I could be totally wrong. Uh, but and and Bo, who do you who do you think is going to be in the end? Um. Man, Odin versus Cal. I'm thinking. I'm thinking Cal Bryce is going to beat Mamesh. Yeah, me I too. do believe Odin is going to beat Wukong, which is going to set up Odin versus Calvarax. and that one right there, I that's a toss up. Yeah, right? I, who knows? Mm-hmm. I think that's more of a who turns up to vote kind of thing, as opposed to you know, uh, which is the better of the two because they're both desirable, but for different reasons. Exactly. But since we've had Calvarax here a couple of times recently, and we haven't seen Odin, I'm probably going to go Odin there. Yeah, and I think we're going to end up with Yoden versus Champ Dog. So, in which I think Champ Dog will prevail. Yeah. So this is this is it's starting to get real interesting, getting down to the nitty gritty. So it's going to be it's going to be pretty awesome. And of course, next week we're looking at you know definitely making sure everyone shows up on the live stream to vote. Champ Yard Dog through to beat Valkyrie. Um, definitely has to happen. Make sure you're there. This week's live stream, of course, being the fact that the event went early, uh, well, well, was released early, and also at the same time, we also went uh, live early. The uh, dev live stream definitely had a lot lower viewership this week with about three, 400 people in there on a pretty constant basis, on YouTube at least. Um, but yeah. definitely feel like there was a lot more information on this live stream than in some of the most recent weeks, because we're on the, I would say, um, on the edge of a lot of cool new things coming to the game. Uh, basically, bless. Yeah, it sounds, bless it sounds like the, the rest of the year is going to be really busy. Yes. With a lot of stuff. Yes. Now, 
that's also pretty much the same way. Every, everyone else is also, when they hear us say that, they're also thinking, oh, man, yeah. We also have a lot of things going on just in your family lives as well. So I know it will seem that some of these events that are being planned here in these next few well, coming weeks may be coming at times, even if you're not working, you're going to be very busy with your family. So there is that. But uh, just to go over that real quick here in the beginning of what I'm referring to for the timeline that they, they, they more or less uh, laid out for us, um, it looks like we're looking at, uh, of course, here in the, in the United States, um, we have a uh, uh, um, holiday called Thanksgiving coming up uh, next Thursday, and then, of course, Black Friday on Friday. Now, that is going to be a big thing, at least in the mobile games, because I've been continuing to say... Look out for that. So if you are going to spend money on gems next week, do hold out for Black Friday. I just really highly recommend it because um, I believe that will be the best day to get a good um, gem discount. But there will be, of course, like they said, events starting on Monday of next week and Tuesday. So single day event on Monday. They didn't reveal what it, Quiff didn't reveal what it was. Double event right. Tuesday, Wednesday. So and then they said uh -huh. and then they said a. Uh, an event, our regular event, not a regular event, a most likely some sort of Thanksgiving type themed. And I would assume it's just when I say it like that, it's not American Thanksgiving. I think it's going to be like a Titan Thanksgiving. So they're going to just, you know, <laughs> a Titan Thanksgiving. Yeah. Which one of the Titans carves the turkey? Uh, um, I, I, I think it's Kazut. Doesn't he have that really sweet curved blade? Because it carves the turkey, man. You don't you think he'd burn it? Probably be more like Loki. Yeah, true, true, true. <laughs> Carve it up good. If you just see them all sitting around the table, they yeah. pass the potatoes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, of course. <laughs> that would be pretty awesome. Um, but anyway, so we're looking at that for next week. But then, of course, directly after that, uh, the the American Thanksgiving holiday and Black Friday. Um, we do have the two-year anniversary, which they said they're going to be celebrating December 8th, but possibly December 7th is they're going to be rolling out stuff as well. They did mention, right. Quiff did say it's going to be like more or less an all-week event. Uh, they want to celebrate it all week at work, which I can I can understand. It's two years. They've been, they've been, uh, it's been longer than two years, but they've been two years globally available uh, and I definitely think that is uh, quite an outstanding uh, feat for a game that may not, they may, none of them maybe thought that it was really going to make it past the first year of global launch. So, right. I think everyone there is pretty excited, and I think they're all very happy to be bringing us a second year anniversary, which Dom did say under his breath. Did you hear him, Bo? He goes, uh, make sure you log in every day. So I think yeah. they're going to have some really cool login prizes. I think we're going to get, uh, you know, just just for playing. It's not going to be like, oh, hey, we need you to spend uh, like $1,000 real quick on our anniversary so we can, then we'll give you stuff. Yeah, there may be some, some different uh, 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 um, events that are going on during the time as well, uh, either like relics or... Uh, or an actual uh, an event or something like that on on a Thursday, but I believe we'll also get some free stuff as well. Um, and then of course Christmas and New Year's as well, which that event is going to be coming a few weeks after the two year anniversary. So there will be a yeah. little bit of a break in between, but you never know. And do you think for the thanks the Thanksgiving event we're going to get to use those charred meat? relics that we had that one time? Oh remember? yeah! Oh yeah! Yeah 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 yeah! We might. We might, we might. Yeah. So, Bo, do you want to talk about exactly what... I don't know, you can pick whatever you want, really. Um, okay, so uh, 1.28 is out. Uh, should be out for everyone at this point. Um, and then, you know, just kind of recap the big things in 1.28 is you have the little indicator on your castle when you're at your castle you have the indicator on the little button there that shows whether you're being attacked or whether you're under shield or not uh, also live right now in the game is the changes to the omega troop drops on defense they've sped those up significantly um whereas before it would take you know they were on the same timers as the spells 
they're now on a completely separate timer and they drop really fast. Like first five or 10 seconds, you'll get a Omega troop drop. And then five or 10 seconds after that, you'll get another one as opposed to 30 seconds and then 30 seconds after. So that's a, that's a huge change. I'd I'd like to know how you guys feel about that and whether that's a, uh, helping, you know, is it enough to make them viable on defense? Uh, we know they're pretty good on offense. Some of the uh, summoners are, but we haven't really seen a lot of defenses with them just because, you know, the advantage was not there. But now with this sped up timer, um, that's that's a good thing. Uh, let's see. They talked a little bit about uh, the 10,000 Divine Gem altar changes. So mm-hmm. in uh, now, currently now, because I, if you go back and watch uh, my live stream that I did uh, this morning, I did a 10,000 Divine Gym pull on the test account. Nice. Uh, they took out the level 1 Titans from the 10,000 Gym altar. They're now all going to be level 20 or level 30 four-star Titans, with the exception of Aurea or Urkon. And you could still get a level 1 Aurea or Urkon, but... You could also get a level 20 or a level 30, one of those as well. So mm-hmm. um, so that is live. Um, I did not know that that was actually going to be a thing until they talked about it, um, you know, on the live stream today. Uh, I was a little bit surprised when it happened this morning. So uh, that was very cool. Uh, they talked about some changes to... Um, the future of range troops where currently like archers, grenadiers, storm maidens, and ranger titans, if they kill the troop that they're attacking, they don't uh, automatically seek the next target. Uh, Mm -hmm. They're, they're going to be making some changes to let them, you know, go towards the next target so that you don't, you know, they'll auto target. You don't have to actually move them around all as much. Um, That's not currently, active um but they said they could turn that on in a future date so and um they'll i believe that they'll let us know either with a blog post or some other way whether that's gonna when that's gonna happen so most definitely but they are testing it and they're trying to decide you know testing it internally and when is it gonna you know when is it gonna be made that type of thing so yeah uh that's about all the 1.28 stuff that i see did I miss anything? Did you see anything I missed? Um, talk about the new two element nine. and unit icons. I think you might have said something about that. Um, yeah, yeah. All the all the troops have new have the little icons on the battlefield are are different now. Mm-hmm. Um, skeletons have a skull as opposed to a sword, like a militia. And uh, the little the panthers looks like a thundercat symbol. <laughs> yeah, it does. It does you look know? like a little thundercat yeah. symbol. Yeah. The Goliaths have this giant club, which I'm like looking at it going, what is that? And I just had to zoom in. I'm like, oh, that's a club. So <laughs> yeah, they're big giant club. That well, here, here around. you get some looks right now because I'm in battle right now. So you see the th- there's the uh, little sword for the uh, militia. Then they have that new arrow yeah. for the arch or bow and arrow for the archers. And then. Yeah, because they talked about um, changes to season rewards for the leagues the mm-hmm. league rewards uh they're 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 looking at that um you know the input from us and you guys and everybody is just they're looking for what we would like to see as an example what do we want to see for top three in legend league how far down the chain should that be you know so it's like maybe mm-hmm. pre-level titans maybe a handful of divine gems for the top three, as opposed to regular gems, you know, Mm. so whatever you guys feel like would be good for season rewards, um, to make the the leagues more competitive, um, make sure you let them know. You can let them know the game via just opening a ticket. You don't have to have a problem to open a ticket in game. You can just, Hey, I have a suggestion. Please send this to whoever and then tell them what it is. Uh, or, you know, post on their Facebook, comment on their YouTube live stream videos. You can do that kind of stuff too. Yeah. Um, and they talked about possibly making some changes to certain troops. Cause you know, we how we had the troop craft for the Imperials not too long ago where they bumped the armor up to 70%. Uh, so they're looking at 
tweaking some troops to kind of do some balancing. Um, but they did say that they're not making any changes to archers. So um, I think the idea they didn't actually make a change to archer. They they fixed something that had been broken for a long time, and now archers are behaving the way that they were always intended to. So uh, they're looking at more like, uh, you know, uh, Imperials, uh, probably not Grenadiers because they, they there's been a change recently with them. Um, same thing that affected archers. And then, uh, you know, maybe, maybe we'll see something with Goliaths or, I don't know, Spearmen, uh, who knows, uh, some of the other troops, but it definitely won't be archers. That's, that's for sure. Yep. So, uh, 1.29, version 1.29, they're going to have the economy relics for the Storm Maiden and the Lightning Spells. And the Lightning Spells, or Lightning Storm Spells, yes, which are pretty cool. Lightning Storm Spells, right, Mm -hmm. the the Warp Relics and the Levy Relics, so that'll be good. Yep, yep, Uh, yep. Because I'm actually burning through a bunch of Storm Maidens right now. Storm Maidens and Militia uh, with Hell is a lot of fun. That's, That's what I'm doing right now. Oh, yeah. So that that would come in handy. Well, I've got all of my militia ones up to you know they're they're. They also said that redu- that Matt was looking into reducing the troop drops from battle rewards, which they're going to have a spoils of war event soon to test that out. I don't know if that means yeah. that there's going to be a spoils of war event this next week, or uh, there could be. It could be. It could be. I mean, yeah. It sounds like there's going to be a lot of stuff next week. Exactly. Um, so you know. So, no. next, starting next week, I expect it to be pretty busy in game through the end of the year. Yeah, yeah, me too, me too. So, yeah. so I think that's about. I think that's about everything, Swan. Did I miss anything you had written down? Um, uh, yeah. Let's see. There's the new onboarding, new player experience stuff that they talked about. Uh, so they got something new for new player level, which I think player level may have to mean something again. I uh, so I caught that. That was a very quick thing from the quiff. Uh, there's going to be a new okay. bundle. Well, I'm about to level up player level wise, so we'll find out. Yeah, there's going to be a new bundle for the players, the new players that they were going to try to put together. Um, let's see what else. Uh, Infiltrators are fixed. That's not live. Range units targeting different units. Yeah, it's not live. Other Titans in 128 that aren't available yet, which, of course, they're talking about the new ones for the new events. Uh, yeah. Temple of Plenty, sometime soon, but not exactly the same as the old Temple of Plenty. Uh, right. Let's see. An all-relic event uh, is coming soon. Quiff said that. New event type. Now that, of course, we've been continuing yeah. to bring that up all the time. It's Matt's project. He's, of course, working on it right now because he wants it. they want it to be ready for early next year. It's going to be a totally new event type and a, a battle mode or battle style or whatever right. you want to call it. Matt's been calling different things. Um, a Poseidon rework has been hinted at by Quiff. Um, uh-huh. Let's see. What else? Uh an all event relic uh, event. We're definitely going to be running into one of those again soon. Uh, wasn't exactly given any dates on it though, so I don't exactly have any more information besides from soon. Um, I think that's probably about it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, the Relic 500 issue? I do want to make bring something up that there, too. The Quiff looked at Dom before he was answering that 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 uh, that like uh, that question. And uh, I almost think that they want to just straight up be like, listen, it's not something... We're looking at it, we're trying to figure out ways around it, but it's not, like, number one on their list. And unfortunately to say, yeah. I feel like they want... They, they, they mentioned that... It's it's more. I feel like the quiff wants to say it's impossible without major game crashes, but they don't want to use that word yeah. impossible, so they just say it's it's yeah. highly unlikely for it to work without major game crashes, but they just don't want to say it's impossible at all. So they they're trying right. to tiptoe around these these extremely like it any kind of word that makes it sound like it's going to take a long time to get this, this, this issue resolved because they know how important it is to a lot of players. So, 
it's a it's a it's a very hard PR subject. Whereas in the other situations, when we ask them certain things, they're just like, "No, we're not going to do that." But they know uh-huh. it, it. It is such they a said, yep. a heavy game mechanic. So, besides from that, uh, the chat issues that I brought up last week on the live stream, uh, and a lot of other people did as well. Um, it's not as easy to fix, but they do have engineers currently working on it. And that's typically when you go to the chat and you go to type something in and you do this and you just say hi. And then it just, as soon as you click to send it, uh, and now it didn't happen that time. So they got off easy, but <laughs> plenty of times that I would type something in a, a, a prompt would just come up and say that, you know, I, I did something, uh, what was it? The disconnect or something like that. Like, it's just a white box that comes up and, my chat, right. my chat yep. doesn't actually appear until I go do a battle and come back, or go into my castle view and come back, and then all of a sudden it'll be there again. Or sometimes it kicks you out of the game when you hit send. Yeah. You get a disconnect. Screen. Yeah. So I just want to put that out there. They did say that they are going to try, try, try to work on that and everything else. So we'll see. Um, besides from that, of course, I said hi, and Oberon Zod said hi back to me. <laughs> <laughs> That's, that's awesome. But yeah, other than that, that's pretty much everything. Good luck to everybody in the current event. If you want to know mine and Bo's opinion on the current event, make sure you watch our pre-show that we did where we ran through all the stuff that's going on in the current event. Uh, besides, yep. And I'll probably be doing a live stream in the morning. It'll be early, uh, 6 a.m., 7 a.m. Central Time, something like that. Awesome. All right. So, and I will be doing another live stream at least tomorrow at some point more in the evening time. So, look at that. We're bracketing the days. So That's right. All bracketing right. the day. There we go. You got, the rest of you guys can have those other times. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, for the, I think that's about everything, Bo. So, uh, for the non-toxic gamers, I am Zalan. And I am Bo. Yeah, we're signing off.